It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. Hello there and welcome back to the One Bar and Lepicus show. We have breaking Vikings news. They have signed a brand new player. Uh, before we get in that, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our vids. We are slowly, actually quickly lately, getting our way closer and closer to that 1K subscriber mark. Um, all right, so the Vikings sign linebacker Hardy Nickerson Jr., uh, and in the resulting move is a cut cornerback Marcus Sales, who I don't think anybody saw making the team. So, what do we know about Hardy Nickerson Jr.? Well, first of all, um, you got to love when the Vikings go out and sign a legacy player like Hardy Nickerson, son of a former NFL great. He's the son of, obviously, Hardy Nickerson Sr. Uh, this guy played in the NFL for 16 years, had over 1,500 combined career tackles. Uh, he was a longtime member of the Steelers, played a little bit for the Jaguars. Uh, he even played for the Shithole Packers for a little bit. Um, so that's Hardy Nickerson Sr. His son, Hardy Nickerson Jr., was undrafted out of Illinois, formerly uh, played a couple years at Cal before that uh, in 2017. Uh, this guy is six foot and 235 pounds. Um, he's actually been in the league now for three seasons, which is surprising because I could have swore to God he was undrafted last year. Um, but three seasons for the Bengals, nine starts, 81 combined tackles, one tackle for a loss, uh, no sacks, and two pass breakups. Um, so what does this move mean for the Vikings? Well, first of all, it's probably just a depth move to have another body in camp, but there is some things that we maybe should uh, look at here closer um, and, and maybe try to read out of this. Uh, first of all, Hart Nickerson being a three-year NFL veteran is not eligible for the practice squad, so he has to flat out make this final 53-man roster. Otherwise, he will be, again, without work uh, come September. Um, you know, are the Vikings concerned about their linebackers? I mean, after Cam Smith's heart issue, uh, Ben Gideon has, uh, I think he's on IR or he's not around, and um, they've already added the Quinton Poling, so... Uh, obviously, they're not concerned with the starters and Troy Die. It's just that fifth linebacker spot and just maybe the depth overall. So, I mean, Nickerson's really just a long shot to make this team unless there is something with Ben Gideon. Uh, if he's not coming back, this guy did have multiple concussions a season ago. Um, perhaps he's one of these players who's going to put his health first and not, you know, try to play and, you know, further risking long term health effects with you know, by suffering another concussion. That's just me guessing, but. Um, the fact that this guy is a bit of a veteran, um, you know, 81 combined tackles would give the Vikings at least a veteran piece, um, depth piece who has some experience, unlike going with a, a rookie or, you know, look who else is on the depth chart. It's two other undrafted rookies in Quinton Poling who doesn't have much experience either. So at least Nickerson gives you a little bit of uh, experience there behind your starters at linebacker. So Again, long shot to make the team, but there is a chance. And it's just sweet to say, hey, you know, Vikings sign Hardy Nickerson. Um, you got to love it. You got to love when they, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm sure one bar feels the same. But you got to love when they go out and bring in the son of a former NFL great. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love this signing. Woo! All right. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, we'll sure we'll have some amazing practice notes later this evening. So uh, until then, always keep your skull in your hole.